And it's a big day for NASA. It's going to be an important day, too. We're talking to Jim Garvin, who is a NASA Goddard chief scientist. And what's happening today is NASA's first asteroid sample return mission, OSIRIS-REx, will attempt to collect a sample from an asteroid named Bennu. I think I'm saying that correctly, to bring back to Earth. So tell us what's going to happen today. So today, a magical spacecraft, a marvel of engineering, will descend from orbit and approach and do a high five on the surface of an asteroid about the size of 10 city blocks. And in doing so, it will collect materials, especially by human beings, collect those materials from this primitive object, package them up, and get ready to send them home to Earth so we can get to know these small planetary neighbors that help our planet become the way it is. That's fascinating. I feel like I've seen this in a movie before. So how tricky is today's maneuver to collect these samples? It's absolutely mind boggling. It's a marvel of engineering that we can approach and almost dock with an asteroid about the size of, you know, a small set of city blocks, touch it, sample the materials in a five second maneuver, back away and then return those materials back to Earth for the women and men of future generations to study. It's kind of a gift that keeps on giving. Wow. And just a quick question there. How can OSIRIS-REx catch up to this asteroid? Well, it's, a, again, a marvel of, of what we call spaceflight, flight dynamic engineering. We picked an asteroid that was just the right kind, in the right place, with the right stuff to go and do this mission, which is really historic. And I think the people of planet Earth will be stunned by the materials we bring back to learn about the origins, or even potentially the origins of life. Okay, so th this is a tough mission. What happens if you're not able to collect the sample today? So we have backup plans. It, it's kind of like a football game. We'll call an audible. We'll make a correction if it looks too rugged. We have other attempts that we'll be able to make later this, uh, win uh, later this winter in December. And then again, we have backup landing sites or, touch or high five sites. So we have contingencies on contingencies. That's why this mission is a perfect intersection of science and engineering coming together to do this kind of stuff. And I think you kind of already alluded to this, but why was Bennu chosen? Why, why this asteroid? Because it's in the right place and it's made of the right stuff. Bennu has, we think, surface materials that are enriched in organics stuff made of carbon and other, other uh, elements. And so being able to go and touch them in their pristine state, not modified by passage through the rest of the solar system, as time capsules makes it perfect. So we can get there, we can get the right stuff, and we can get home. That's a perfect asteroid. And science is incredible. One quick last question. How can viewers watch today's event unfold? So we have www.nasa.gov, NASA Live, with live streaming of this event, which will occur later this afternoon and evening, depending on where you live. Um, and then there'll be web updates and social media updates. And at Osiris Rex uh, is another site you can go on social media to see all about this. Come join the fun. It's going to be epic. Awesome. Uh, Jim Garvin, NASA Goddard Chief Scientist, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.